Hey guys, what up here and welcome back to NASCAR Rivals Crew Mode for part 31. We're going to Talladega. It is the second race in the round of 12, I think. So, uh, yeah, round 12. So this is what the point situation looks like. We're still 16 points ahead of the cut line, but with Talladega, I think we can finish pretty well and the points are going to shift uh, quite a bit. So uh, I think we'll be on the, on the good end of it. Uh, every sugar plate race we've done this year, we've gotten the top 10. So... That's good. Kurt is on the bubble by 12 points. I'm hoping he can pull off some kind of miracle. Um, there's really not a whole lot else to look at in terms of our point situation. Um, that's really about it. Uh, our settings, uh, same as usual, but I do want to double check and make sure things are good to go. And it looks like it is, which is perfect. Also for Talladega, we're not even going to bother to qualify because we're just going to start last. So we're just going to jump straight into it. Uh, mismatch penalty, ahoy, with everything we got to deal with there. So that's just unfortunate. But what is fortunate is my tier 2 Patreon people as my YouTube members uh, as well for uh, supporting the channel. Again, as always, appreciate it. helps me out a ton. So as always, thank you so much for um, supporting it. It just It's very much appreciated and does go a long way. So just a simple thank you is always appreciated. So without further ado... Let's uh, see what we can do with Dega. So with us starting last, I, I, well, it depends on who gets into the back. We might be okay. Um, okay, 37. So three people went to the back. And we have Hamlin on pole. I don't know why it looks like an uh, apocalypse is going on. This is, again, a throwback to Heat 2. So good job game on that front. So Cindric failed uh, pre-race inspection. Yaley went to the back. Truex as well. So... I can't even begin to rant on how stupid it is that he gave up position for tires at a restrictor plate or a super speedway. That is just levels and levels of just stupidity. But, yeah, well, we got people behind me, so we should be able to get the draft, and, you know, they should be able to push me or do something, so we shouldn't just completely lose the, the entire field right away. And we got 14 laps in stage one, so pitting will be a thing. It's like every other stage one normally. So really our goal is just to try to stay in the pack. Um, upper tire pressure is up to 60, which will probably take like four or five different pit stops. So that's my plan. As of right now, we're doing good. We're in the pack. And Shrex is trying to pass me. And he does. So uh, hopefully somebody from behind pushes me or does something. Because, uh, yeah, we need a lot of help. And JG Illy is going to give it to me. Perfect. Thank you for the help. And we're going to just see how this plays out, especially with stage points and everything. At a track like this, I really hope Kirk can pull some uh, some magic. That's almost four wide there for a split second, so that was amazing. So that's all I can really hope for as we're moving up to the field. Thank you, Ailey, for the push. I mean, good lord. <laughs> it's helping us out a ton. So that's very, very helpful. And... And not even two laps. We went from 37th to 22nd. That's, that's pretty good. Ow. He like continues to push me. And we're carrying so much speed. Oh, God. Todd Gillen just like completely checked them up. We're still maintaining the inside line. We're going to start to stall with our momentum because our car is not fast. Greg Biffle, the OG bro of this career mode. Well, I kind of went off the apron area and kind of checked up because of that. But he was there was an attempt of him helping, which is very, very much appreciated. Oh, he's coming back. Thank you, Bipple. Ouch. Okay, perfect. That's just a casual 200 miles an hour. Good lord, the speed. Ugh, that's disgusting. All right, that's... that's uh, thank you, Bipple, for the help. I just I need to calm down. Also, Kurt's up here, so good job, Kurt. Get stage points. You need it. You deserve it. He's on the outside, though, which isn't great. But Bipple, he's pushing me? I mean, we're going to lead our 200... Well, our, well, yeah, our 200th lap of this season, which is pretty cool. Well, well, that, well, Chastain's thinking I'm trying to help him and it's gonna be kind of hard to pass him, so. I don't know where to really go. Unless Biffle just wants to push me up high. That and that works too. And very and very unusual that we were able to pass someone up on the high side at a, at a super speedway, which usually it just never happens with these games, but. Thank you, Bill, for the push, and we're going to try to hang on to this and lead a lap, and... Well, I don't know if it's going to happen. He's he's going up high. He's kind of... 
Maybe we could block it. Oh, he, he cut down low. And never mind, because Briscoe just encourages to work together and two car tangoed away from me. Thank you, Bill, for the push. We'll get, we'll get up to them eventually. Don't know why Kurt like, completely de-latched from Briscoe and then went down low. Oh, God, Bill. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, thank you. I guess Kurt's fast today. I don't know what is with Kurt. He's just been very clutch in the playoffs, which is very, very cool to see. We're going to go up high, pass Biffle that, or, well, Kurt that way, and hopefully this time we can lead a lap. Just hit the restart line zone thing, and we're going to lead our 200th lap in the career mode for this season. That's pretty cool. And Kyle Busch is going to go right by me. But at least we led a lap, so that makes me feel good. All, all warm and fuzzy on the inside. And Biffle's going to continue to help me. And that is almost four wide. Yeah, that is indeed four wide for the lead. Oh my hot damn. Biffle again with the assist of helping me get to the front. And there we go. Back into the lead. Thank you, Biffle, for the help. We're able to block Harvick there a little bit. Two wide I can handle, but not three wide. And there goes Byron. So in order for us to even have a shot to win, we really pretty much need a time... Losing the lead and then getting it back at the most opportune time. And I don't know if I have the skill required to do something that complex. We're low on fuel though, so we will be pitting very, very shortly. We just hit one lap on fuel, so I will be going down through this lap. I think the rest of, or at least the majority of the field are going to pit. Yes, they are. So, yeah, green flag pit stops at Dega. And 55. Could have went a little bit faster. He almost hit me, but we're good. Up the tire pressures and we'll go from there. Oh, we got a yellow at... I guess it was a good opportune time, so... Yeah, that's just going to mess things up. Some people that are staying out are pitting. We're going to get back up there. I think Kurt pitted with everyone, so... We're going to be okay. Yep, yeah, no, yeah, he's staying out. Okay. Well, that was convenient. That's going to jumble the field up even more. But, alright. And just like that, we gained 25 spots. And we're in the lead. And I don't know why we're in this camera angle. I think it's because we were in pit stop camera angle or whatever. I don't know. But, yeah, a couple laps left to go. I have no idea. Uh, Kurt's, okay, he's on the inside line. I see him there in a the distance. So he, he could get some stage points. But we're leading some extra laps. I appreciate it. I'm amazed with how slow this car is. They're able to hold... No, not, not anymore because Suarez got there. But, yeah... I don't know. I mean, it's gonna. Let me put, thank you, Custer, for the push. So, you know, with two to go, and I think we're in pretty good shape to get stage points no matter where we end up, whether if we win or not. Kurt's back there. He's on the inside line still, so that's good. Custer continues to push. And back into the lead we go. Point flag for stage one. Bell got to my outside, but we should have at least somebody pushing me from behind to. Give us a shot, or at least we should. Byron's just not pushing at all, so I guess he's just not ultimate best friends with me, which is very unfortunate. And very, very um, selfish of him to just sabotage the whole field just because... There's no driver in real... And it's, it, 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 this is the... <laughs> it's not... It's been, It's not even... It's hurting Kurt, and it pisses me off. Byron is causing this. What an absolute douche. We got the draft from Custer, so that's good. He's pulling us along. Finally, we're doing stuff. And I hit the apron, so that's not going to help. So at the bare minimum, we're going to finish off stage one in... Well, definitely within points, but... Yeah, that... Uh, all that that all that sucked. Kurt didn't get points. Because Byron just wanted to be a, a, a salty Sam. And yeah, I got, I got him 12. Yeah. Th thanks, Byron, for not pushing me and keeping our momentum up on the inside. You absolute tool of a human being. It only gets a 42. I'm still having max the tire pressures out. But it's getting there. We're on the outside. We did get stage points, which is good. I don't think there's really not a whole lot of people. I don't think got in the top 10 that got points. So I think we're okay. Don't know. No, like none of the positions even changed on pure road. So it was a very just robotic type of just everybody was perfect. For whatever reason, it does seem like we get good launches on the start. Don't know how or why. But that is the situation. And it's, for whatever reason, I'm just having a terrible job just, just holding the line. Yeah, we're, we're competitive. We're up here with everyone. And, yeah. 
nothing really to, to to snark about. So I think we can go for quite a long time without even really using a proper super speedway chassis and be okay. We hit Todd Gillen though, so I'm sure that's going to make him mad, but yeah, we're right there up with everyone. I think I inadvertently held up Todd Gillen there. <laughs> he will lead a lap though. I want to get to the inside. Oh, Biffle's a bro, so he will push me. Thank you. Because for whatever reason, Kaz Garla would not want to help me. Also, we are three wide. I'm in the middle. And I think because I'm side... I think I'm side drafting Stenhouse and it's making me slow? I, I don't know, but... Alright. We're in the draft. Todd Gillen's trying to block, but not going to work. And... Well, I guess we'll just kind of chill for a little bit. I mean... It's, well, as much as we can in a track like this. I don't know what happened to Biffle, but Jesus Christ, Stenhouse with the shove of the century. And I mean, if, it, if we know anything about Stenhouse, he's not gonna he's not gonna lift. Well, thank you for pushing me into lead. I appreciate it. But wow, I mean, it damaged the bat, the ass of my car, and we'll lose the lead right away with Justin Haley, Byron, and friends. Just the whole sloop. I just don't think we could really win. We could definitely, I don't know, I guess it just depends on who's helping me. Like, Stenhouse is a really good help. But not everyone wants to work with me. And they will rather just, I mean, we know what William Byron's willing to do. He's willing to just sit there, like, two feet behind me. Also, Stenhouse, like, bumping around me a little bit? I don't know. At least Cody wears a, a friend of ours, and he'll push me, so thank you. Chastain and Stenhouse kind of just separated themselves. Kind of similar to what happened with... Um, Kurt and someone else, so I'll take it. Back into Lee we go, and probably in a few laps from now, or not even a lap, uh, we're going to have the entire field sort of just, you know, get back around me again. Like right now. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, well, I thought Kyle was going to push me, but he's not. Oh, yeah, he's annoyed with me, so he will just sit there behind me and not do anything. One of the most awkward feelings is Logano is more of a friend to me in this game than Kyle Busch is. And that, I don't really feel comfortable about that. But he is inadvertently making me... Oh, he's going to push me in the lead. Okay, well. I mean, it's nice, but I know we're just going to lose it, you know, less than a half a lap from now. Look at this. Kurt and Austin Dillon. They just two-car... I don't know what is with Kurt today. He just can two-car tango people up to the front. That is badass. Why is Kurt such a badass in the playoffs now? He's just doing, like, amazing things, like, one race after another. From the comeback at Bristol and the same with Texas, or yeah, he, where he got 11th after blowing a tire. Like, it, it's unreal. And now, now Kurt's leading just before pit stop. So he might pit this lap. I mean, we'll follow him. I, I can't not but follow him. I'm, I'm a simp. Yeah, he's down low below, uh, underneath the line, so he's going to pit. We'll do the same. He's slowing down. We'll do the same. Actually, we definitely outbreaked him there. Uh, 55. <sighs> That's more of his AI being dumb than, than Kurt, but... Yeah, we'll repair stuff, and I'm just running in the Grala down period, so that's that's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, God! 16.1 on the estimated time, so pretty all right by the pit crew. And we will be first leaving pit road. And... Well, I mean, we're going to be having a slow outlap, but there will be people behind me to push me, so... It's not, it's not too bad. Or maybe not, because Busher, I guess, isn't an ultimate best friend with me, so... Uh, we're just going to have to, I don't know, draft with, okay, Chastain and them. They, they had the plan better than I did. Well, Busher, go, go fuck off. Well, me and Kurt will draft together, because Kurt loves me. Kurt? We don't, he doesn't like me enough to push me. Oh, my heart. Oh, that's some bullshit. Oh, I'm, I'm hurting Kurt's race. We have to let him go by because I, I don't have the speed. Oh, Kurt just ran the back of... God damn it. Oh, somebody will, will eventually work with me. Sindrick? Yep, okay, thank you. Alright, well. Now let's see if we can move up to the field or do something. Until the pit stop's done, we're going to cycle out. 
16th. Um, I don't have stage end. Oh, that just complicates things. Kurt's not going to get stage points. Who? I saw Byron or, or Bowman with stage points. Kyle Busch is up there, so that really sucks for Kurt. So, Kurt, you need to have a magical run. Everyone's pitting. We'll do the same. We'll up our tire pressures. It's insane how long it takes. It never ceases to amaze me how pitifully slow this entire process is. And we're still not going to be able to max everything out. That is unreal. <laughs> Alright, well, we lost eight spots. Um, multiple pit strategies going on are just different things. So, some people, I, I don't know. I, I can't keep track of the strats, but no Gregson's leading. And I learned today that Kurt doesn't like me enough to push me, which I guess because he's just salty, I helped him at Texas to get a spot. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, God, the stack up. Jeez. All right, well, we're just going to find our way down the inside line here. Oh, my God, Shastain. I don't know what is going on there, but that was just awful. And now Growl's pushed me. Yeah, that was just that was weird. I don't know if he just ran himself out of fuel or what happened, but that was just weird. Well, we got a lot of laps left to go. What, 18, 17? So we're going to have to pit twice no matter what, so... First stop, if it, I mean, no way it's going to go green the whole way, but first pit stop will take four tires and fuel, and then the second one will just probably take right sides, and then that's pretty much it. But for now, we're going to have Grala push me, and I just ran into Kyle. And apparently Harvick doesn't like me enough to push me, so that is, uh, that sucks, because he's a, he's a fast car. Harvick, go by. If you're that spiteful, just go by, and I'll have somebody else push me that actually cares about me. Like Stenhouse, who I don't know if he cares about me or is just dumb, but <laughs> he will push me, so thank you. Stenhouse giving me the push of the century. There's really nowhere to go. We just, it just went into McDowell. We able to get inside there. Oh, jeez. It was borderline a penalty, but oh, now we got freaking Hesemans, who I know won't work with me. This sucks. Not having as much friends on the racetrack to not push me is it's frustrating. Well, we had enough of a run to go to the outside McDowell. There's that was kind of that was neat. Um, not a whole lot we can do. So I don't know why. I mean, I went to the high side because I had a run, but then it could just kind of dissipated. So watch Hesman's be rival with me because of that tap. I don't even even remember the last time I even hit him. Maybe the Indy Road Course. I don't even know, but. Thank you, Bell, for the push. That's just... We're going, I, I know where to go with that. But I don't know. Oh, I'm still just hoping Kirk can come out of this with a... You know, he's, he's pulled some miracles off this season with the playoff stuff. I, I love to see him do it again. But I don't know. Talladega and Kirk just aren't a good combo. Ever. That's right. I keep forgetting Ryan Blaney doesn't like me. And neither is Kyle Larson, so... That really sucks. Like we just, just, there's not a whole lot I can do if they're just not going to push me. I mean, I, I got a little bit of draft of Suarez. That might help. But we definitely need that help. Kerb got by me, but Larson kind of got left out to dry. Well, I mean, we got the draft. We're in the mix of things, so we are kind of moving up. We're in the, obviously, the preferred lane we need to be in. There was a flash that someone wanted to work with me, so that was interesting. We're going to get to the inside. Blaney's finally going to just drive around me. And Brad is not a friend. Wow. I don't really have many allies on track, at least to, that are willing to push me. So, yeah, to, to get a good finish is is definitely going to be a lot harder than it than it really should. And we're going to, I mean, we didn't get any points in Stage 2, so that doesn't help either. Do we have three cars that DNF'd in this race and I'm just not aware of it? Or are they just pitting early? I don't know, it's just, just something I know. Oh, they're, yeah, they're pitting. Yeah, we'll do the same. We'll get our four tires and fuel, and we'll try to uh, get the tire pressures in, but... Uh, 55, give me some fucking room. There we go, okay. Four tires... Finally! Finally, we were able to upgrade, put every freaking tire pressure thing in the car. 15.9 on the stop. 
We won't be the first out of pit. No, I mean, we should, we're going to be in the mix. It just depends on who's behind me, which Suarez and... I think he's one of those good friends of ours. To, yeah, he's going to push me. Thank you, Suarez, for the help. Well, from one friend to another, now Cindric pushes me, so thank you. And now, him yeah, just we'll wait this out. More people leaving the road. I'm baiting Cindric up high, and that worked out perfectly. And he stops. That's it's the most chicken thing I've ever seen a driver do. I give him. I we we went up the track together to avoid this, and that's why how he repays it by just not doing anything. And now, I mean, we got we're in the draft to Stenhouse. I really want to try to pass him because I know Byron's not going to do anything, and he just left me out to drive. Wow, what a friend. Ty Dillon will be a friend, that's weird for me to say, but he is going to help me. And where he's going to help me get by Byron too, so but by Byron. We are carrying so much speed, oh my god. <laughs> by the Almarola, hello Stenhouse, hello everyone. Um, but we're back in the top 10 now, Cody Ware is now leading, which is really, really weird. But we're in the top 10, so that's nice. So whenever we do pit... I'm not even going to take any fuel it's just, or get tires. I'm just going to take fuel and see how that works. Um, I really wish I was on the inside line, but I can't get there. There's a lot of cars on the inside. Also, <laughs> we cycled out about two seconds back from everyone, even though we were not, eh, I don't know. Hamlet's getting left out the drive, so that's funny. Oh, we, we get by. Okay, just go down low because I know the house will push me. And that's gonna be uh, a big help. Thank you. Oh God, Harvick, save it! No, <sighs> fuck. <sighs> just the checkup. I, I. Yeah, there was just nothing I could do there. I just. Yeah. We're gonna pit. No tires, just fuel. Uh, one can apparently fills it, so we'll go with that and. We're going to have a dash. Yeah. Oh, we did gain a spot, so I guess I believe it, though. The entire field did the same thing. Have so, I don't know. I really wanted that to go green. I was curious to see if it was it was going to stay like that the whole time. But that clearly was not in the game's cards. We just kept... Surprise Harvard wrecked from that. Usually the AI can really handle a bump, but I, it was just at the right angle, I guess. Just enough to wreck him, I suppose. And uh, now Harvick's going to be extremely mad with me. And now we're going to have to somehow try to hang on to this. Or, well, I mean, it's not going to happen, but... Hopefully we can just get at the be in the right spot at the right time to get someone to push me to the front. It's going gonna, it's gonna to need a lot of math equations, but I'm hoping we can pull something off. Of all people winning this, I really don't want Austin Dillon to win it. I just, I don't know. Where's Kurt? I, oh, he's up on the high side. He's going to probably try to do that two-car tango magic that he's been trying to pull off this whole race. I don't know why he went up to the mega high lane, but... You do you, Kurt. I can't really block that if I try. That is that is four wide. I just gave up the bomb lane like an absolute moron. And I... Thank you. Oh, my God. What a freaking mess. <laughs> All right. Well, it worked out somehow. Now, Kurt's up to the high side. What a race. <laughs> yeah, tight. Uh, now I got the, t the Dylan brothers here. Oh, that's awkward. And he's going to give me a push. Should be able to pass him up here through the middle. He's going to help me then his brother. That's kind of That kind of says a lot right there. On uh, the family quarrels. And with the push, even that's still not enough to get, make me pass him. Uh, still, nope. He got side drafted or something happened to him, but that just messed things up. Oh, Michael McDowell gonna push me. All right, well that's gonna be a help. Thank you. That's a that's a unit of cars back there. My lord, there's no way. There's just no feasible way I can win this by holding. I mean, the car just doesn't have the horsepower. We need someone like Michael McDowell to push me, and it's working right now. I mean, every time we get to the end of these races, we just always end up finding someone that just doesn't want to work with me, and it just kills us, but... So far, we're doing pretty good. Kurt's up here, too, but anything can change. 
two to go. I the anxiety's rising. The anxiety has definitely gone up. Just it's just every time. It's just like the odds are against us so badly. It just it looks so good now, but I know, I know it's not. All I can really do is just block. I can only really block like two lanes. I'm lucky if I can even do that. Ty Dillon just had some kind of like Dale Earnhardt Jr. 2010 Daytona 500 push. I don't know. He just had a run that just didn't even look natural. Kaz Grawl is up here now. <laughs> Where's Kurt? <laughs> I'm trying to find Kurt. My Vega McDowell for the push. I, I appreciate the help. He's being a, a big bro right now. White flags out. We're just kind of holding our own here. I, I'm just waiting. Somebody need. I mean, there's no way this is going to work out. No freaking way. With how our luck's been at these tracks, something's going to happen. We're just going to get just destroyed. But for whatever reason, the runs aren't just generating as big as they have. I see Truex up there lurking, and that, that's going to be three wide there. I don't think I'm going to be able to block that. I got to have someone behind me. Even if we, like, we can't, I can't afford to get boned at like, 10 spots. Thank you, McDowell, for the push. Briscoe is not clear. A little bit of side draft. That actually helped us. Thank you, McDowell, for the push. That might be enough. It is going to be enough. <laughs> Thank you, McDowell, for the push. That's a dub. That's going to be win number six of the career in the season. Wow. <laughs> Damn, you bet your penny I'm going to do a burnout. Michael McDowell, the ultimate MVP. This is why, that's why, it's exactly why I stayed to the inside line. Because if I was going to try to block, I don't know if Briscoe's a, like a friend enough to push me. We could have gotten absolutely gobbled up big time. So that's why I just stayed to the inside, just to make sure I had someone to push me. So even if we lost the, the lead and the, well, the, the win... We could at least still maintain decent track position. So that was really, really freaking dope. Really smart on my part. Comment section can't rip me apart for that. The car is so terrible with its handling and just... I could barely go like 130. I came and do my traditional like Larson's... Well, I guess like Legato, but uh, that's not canon in my heart. This is going to be such a wimpy ass like series of spins when we get to the front straight away because i can't if i go over like 130 it just wants to wreck so yeah it definitely <laughs> it's definitely underpowered but we did get our sixth win of the year this time it was very earned it was not like a bristol like win where we just it was because of really pit strategy so we're gonna do our spin got a little bit up in the air oh if i could have kind of turned to the right that would have been amazing but i'll take it that was that was a lot better than i thought Huh. Look at that. Kurt was actually in the top five. I think he got fourth. Damn. I didn't see him back there. I didn't I, I really had no idea where he was at, but he might have gotten fifth, so Yeah, I think he uh gonna I mean he finished really well, so hopefully that helps him out in the playoffs. But I gotta find a thumbnail because I don't know what to really use. <laughs> so this is the yellow with Harvick and I, because of Stenhouse. Chase Elliott got into it. Uh, Justin Haley was involved. Yeah, I, yeah, it's just blame Stenhouse, not me, Harvey. That was not that was, I, I I couldn't do anything. Let's take a look at the finishing results in detail. Yep, Kirk ended up getting a top five, and Logano got six. I, the playoff grid's gonna be all shaken up after this one, like usual. Um, uh, Cindric was seventh. Haley's up there. Busher tenth. Um, Bowman won a stage because of the yellow or something, so... Yeah, the field order got all mixed up. Hamlet's 27th. It's a mess. Kyle Busch back there. Chase Elliott's back there. Good lord. Um, Bubba last. Timmy Hill with... Oh, he must have been after something, so that sucked, but... We'll look at our earnings here. Again, pretty good, considering every... Almost 100000 in merch payout, so that's very nice. 446000 We'll gladly take that amount. That's the grid. Kurt is three points to the good going into the Roval, which I want to preference. Uh, Kurt's AI is usually really good at the road courses, so he should be up at the front of the Roval to utterly kick the fields, at least be able to get points. So he's currently good. But Hamlin, 32 out, basically needs to win. Ryan Blaney can probably point his way in. Chase Elliott is still 
23 to the good, I think. So, even with that bad finish, he, I think he got some stage points. But, yeah, Kurt's in the, he's, he's in the plus. He's in, he's in the green, but he definitely is on the, on the bubble. So, he still has to perform. Same with Kyle. So, yeah, really the only one that has to worry is Hamlin. He's really, he basically needs to win. I'm good. Chase Elliott and Byron, almost good, but they still need to run pretty all right. So, yeah. And here we are in victory lane in the grass somewhere? I don't know. Our trophy's floating. Um, none of this looks right. Our crew looks as just a weird victory lane celebration. I guess we just didn't have, I guess we just didn't feel like being in the, I don't know, we just wanted to party in the infield. I don't know. That's kind of weird. And the trophy's levitating too, so we got some paranormal shit going on here at Talladega. It, it is a it is a, a cursed track, you know. There's some ghosts and ghouls and everything. Also, there's a driver inside, so I have a clone. This game is really freaking me out. But yeah, um, I know I know the game. I know this track is haunted and everything. But yeah, that that's my explanation. That, that it's actually re pretty realistic, to be fair. So you know, it actually makes sense. Race. Oh, so oh, Todd Gillen with the fastest lap. No way we led the most laps or anything. I, I'll be shocked. Somehow we did. We led 11. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. So that's our sixth career win. We were indeed on the move. And tough break was probably... Yeah, Bubba. Started six, got 40. We should have get uh, moderate savings. Yep, moderate savings. So all that's good. And we do get our contract incentive. We did get a top ten, two top tens. So that's an extra 448,000. 949,000 total. Really, really do. very nice. And the next race is the Roval, which, I mean, three top tens for 700 and five races. So the Roval, I think we could probably pull off a top 10. Vegas, no. Homestead, I mean, we could maybe get that at home. I don't think we can do that. I mean,. I don't think we're going to be able to pull off any of these, really. I don't know. I think we're going to be Roval, probably, but definitely not anywhere else. We're going to go in the middle three top 15s. Maybe we can pull two of them off at Charlotte and uh, Homestead, but the other ones, I don't think so. But we'll go, go for it. Um, we'll definitely uh, use our road course stuff and hope that's enough to uh, you know run well. We got all of our work plans situated. Here's our... Uh, relationship things so Kyle Busch meant Elliot's neutral so Kurt is Kurt's nice what wasn't he just that sucks so I guess if you're so I wonder what it takes for them to push me is it just like is it just friend and happy I, I I'm I'm assuming so yeah because we had other how is Kurt? What has happened with Kurt, and why is he only nice with me? What ha? What? The, because I helped him at text the, the relationship thing makes makes no damn sense. But nobody's a rival, so I guess that's good. But yeah, that's our sixth win. What a freaking rookie season! Broken all the the boundaries of what you can do as a rookie. Uh, Two hundred ten laps led. So if we times that by four, if it was like a hundred percent race, I think that's like eight hundred and forty laps led in a rookie season. That is pretty damn good we've we've done, we've done a damn good job this season it's really about our next goal is just trying to get to the engine to be at 1.8 million which we're about halfway there so that is that's pretty good and i don't know how long it'll take but i know next season the big thing is no not that one no no there we go yeah so next season we'll probably absolutely get better sponsors so we'll get at least like 80,000 bare minimum per race because we're probably gonna go with mobile one spoiler alert because uh, long term wise it's gonna be good with the payout per race blue email is good for like short runs like sh in sh short term because of how much we're gonna get but per race that extra 40,000 is gonna be a big help so with mobile one so that's gonna be our plan so yeah with that uh, that'll do it for me I'll see you all in the next episode I'm getting so excited to record in the future, I forgot to actually properly thank my Tier 2 Patreon people. Well, Tier 3. God, I'm getting all of my intros mixed up. I'm, God, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm tired. 
Big shout out to my 2-3 Patreon supporters of Darren Reynolds, Kamikaze Games, Dave Fox, 15, NASCAR, Site.org, Billy Carroll, Golf Game 100, Mew, Bebster, Mexican, 96, Mark Harmon, Fan 5556 for the support. Again, I really appreciate what you guys do for the channel every single month. It truly goes a long ways and does help me out a ton. So thank you, all, as always, for doing what you guys do. It's always wonderful, so thank you. And with that, that'll do it for me. Next episode, like I said, we'll tackle the Roval and... I can't imagine we're going to be able to race our way into the round of four. There's just no way. I think we're going to probably get eliminated in the round of eight because Vegas, we, we struggled there in the spring. Homestead, we might do a little bit better than normal. Then even if we're even close, Martinsville, we're going to lose so much of that just because our car isn't great and we don't got a short track chassis. So, yeah, I think we'll get eliminated in round of eight. But either way, we made a lot further than we probably had any real right to be so i don't know that'll do it for me i'll see you all next episode see you all later and as always have a good day everyone